Oh, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd just show you a couple of problems that I found with the Robin. I think they've been there from, from new. Uh, as you can see, there's the clutch pedal. I can't even see it. There's the clutch. You'll see that's the brake. And right down there, let me see it on there. There's a throttle. Now, what's happening is I push, put my foot down on the throttle, it's sliding off and wedging behind that little, little bit down there. I don't know if you can see it on that. Just a little bit. Oh, it's a bit awkward to show you actually, but just there. So when my foot goes onto the throttle, it slips off and wedges in there and keeps the throttle open. And the other annoying thing at the moment is the distance between the brake pedal and the throttle. When I'm touching the throttle, I'm touching the brake as well. And there's a, quite a big gap there, and there's a big gap over there. So what I thought I'd do, this is the steering column, and these are that's the brake and the clutch pedal. Um, if I show what I've done, I've brought another um, pedal box, and I'll show you, just to make it easier. Oh, right, this makes it look easier. Um, this is the brake pedal box, or the clutch and brake pedal box. Uh, it's exactly the same as what's in there, and I don't even remember seeing it, but up through here, it's actually at an angle like that, see. I'm going to make it easier like that. That's better. You get the uh, steering column go through there. So what I plan to do is cut the pedals here and here and, st and move it over. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to move them over. So, but I've got to cut it about there because that's where the steering column goes through. Keep the length exactly the same, so the ratio is exactly the same. But cut that, move it over so that brake pedals about there. And the clutch pedal is about there, so it's pretty much straightening that down from that point there. Yeah, I can't cut it up there because I'll see the steering column, but from about here, I reckon I can do that straight all the way down and the brake pedal, and that gives me so much more room. Anyway, that's one of the problems. The other problem is, well, it's not really a problem actually, is the handbrake, which I've got, I'm not sure what it is, that one. Um, it's around here somewhere. Anyway, I'm doing the, bra the brakes at the moment, so the handbrake. Obviously I'll do another video later on that one. Obviously I've taken it all apart. Uh, I managed to get the right brake shoes this time. Well, the first ones I got were for the two litre, but apparently this is a 1600. Um, and I've just got to change all the bits over. So these are the, these are the new ones. Look, what a lot bloody difference between them, between the old ones and the new ones. If you look at them like that, there's not any difference in them. But anyway, I'll change them all over. I'll change one bit of this, that lever there. That's, that was that one. I've got to get some of these little clips. I think they're called star washers. I'll get another one of them. So that, that's that one done. I've got to change that bit there over. But I think that that bit there is actually uh, looks like it's bent over, pushed over. So I'm going to have to cut that off flush. And I'll probably drill and tap it and put a bolt in it and put a washer on it. So that'd be that bit done. Then I've just got to do the other side, which is this one. Again, I need another one of these spring clips or star clips. So it's all going quite well, actually. Um, one of the guys off of um, Robin Hood, or the kit car, or or the other one is on Facebook. Sent me down um, a handbrake and a cable, and the handbrake is going to go. Can we go down in there? The proper place for it, so I've actually uncovered it all. And obviously, the two oh, obviously, if you know your robins, which I oh, don't actually, there's two tubes that run down the center of the car, which is great. These holes here were actually drilled out for some riv nuts for the top bit, but I'm gonna put that's where the handbrake's gonna go, right? So, this is the, uh, the bracket or the plate that's gonna go on top of them top rails, and here's the original Sierra handbrake. So I'll just go make some brackets up to mount that, and that should be good. And then all I've got to do is try and connect. I'll do it with one end actually. All I've got to do is try and connect that to the handbrake cable, and the handbrake cable to the brakes. So one bit at a time. So I'll, first of all, get this piece in, get that mounted on there. Maybe don't. I'll do that tomorrow. Then this piece here, and that's the go. Oh, just got that floor. Let's show you where it's going. 